Welcome back to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. Do you like strawberries? Fantastic, I knew you would. Today we're making a strawberry beet. Now this was introduced to me by Rurari. He owns the Bonneville Cocktail Channel on YouTube here. Absolutely fantastic, you know. If you like somebody who uh, knows how to make a cocktail, he's the man, I tell you. Anyways, this cocktail was originally created and introduced to him by Dale DeGroff, also known as the Cocktail King or King Cocktail. And he's also the author of The Craft of the Cocktail. Truly a fantastic resource. But, and this is most important, this has become Ruari's favorite cocktail. So, could it be your new favorite as well? Let's find out. Now the Strawberry Bee is a riff on the original Bee's Knees, so it has a lot of the same similarities. And you know what, that's a great cocktail. However, this one has fresh strawberries in it. And you know what, we're gonna really enjoy this. So grab your shaking glass because it is a shaking cocktail. And what we're gonna do is grab two strawberries, and then what we're gonna do is we're just going to cut the stems off and throw them in the glass. Now the next thing you wanna do is grab your muddler and you're actually going to muddle this really, really thoroughly. You wanna break it down fully. Oh yeah, look at that. Just clean that off. And then what we're going to do is add our sweetening agent. In this case, we're using a honey syrup. Simple, easy, and we're going to use this to draw out more of the natural flavors of the ras strawberry, raspberry. I just, it's a red fruit, okay? Get it right, it's a red fruit. Anyways. We need one ounce or 30 milliliters. Now that you've done that, you can move to your citrus agent. In this case, like the original Bee's Knees, we're using lemon juice. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this in half and squeeze out one ounce or 30 milliliters. And that lemon juice will actually balance everything out. However, what we're going to use next is the gin of your choice. Now I'm using uh, Beef Eater London Dry Gin. Use whatever you like, maybe something lightly floral that would work really, really good with strawberries. And we're going to use two ounces or 60 milliliters. <laughs> this is gonna be fantastic. You just know it. Uh, so what we are going to do now is we're going to shake this with some ice. So make sure you fill your glass with your ice in a big chunk of ice just like that. And uh, then grab your lid, make sure it's on nice and solid, skip a flip, and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand strawberries. Oh, it smells so good. Gotta love the smell of gin and strawberries together. What we're going to do is serve this in an up style in a nice coupe. But what we are going to do is fine strain out the chunks of ice and strawberry. But one of those things that you have to remember is the little bits of strawberry are gonna fill up this, uh, the sieve, and it's just gonna take a little bit longer to pour. Oh, look at that, absolutely gorgeous. So what you wanna do, grab your garnish, and what we'll do is we'll just put a cut right down the center like so, and then we'll just slap it on the edge. And this is a strawberry bee. Absolutely gorgeous to look at it. Let's give it a taste. So immediately we get slight citrus notes and a little bit of gin and a bit of strawberry. Fuck me, that's good. Mm. Um, Rari, you're right, <clears throat> that is really good. Super balanced, the honey syrup, the lemon go right together, and it's so nicely put in there. The gin just lifts it slightly, you get slight hints of juniper, but that's it. Absolutely gorgeous. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. And if this is your first time on my channel, please hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. You have a fantastic day.